L'Hôpital's rule, and that is how you say it, he was French, says um, that if you take a limit and you get zero over zero, or plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity, so these are the cases, uh, some indeterminate forms, and I remember zero over zero, that was what you always had trouble with when you started calculus. It says if, if either of these things happen, um, then the original limit problem is the same as the limit of the derivative of the top function over the derivative of the bottom function. So basically, if you get zero over zero, or you get infinity over infinity, you can take the derivative of the top, separately take the derivative of the bottom, and try the limit again. Let me show you a nice example I have here. Um, so people really, really like L'Hôpital's rule because it saves them a lot of work, and people usually like derivatives um, a lot better than, uh, than doing limits the old way. So I've got this limit problem. And so what I always do with these, is I just plug in the number and see what happens. So if I plug in zero for X, that'll be E to the zero, anything to the zero is one. So that's one minus one over sine of zero, um, sine of, psi of zero, sine of zero. So one minus one is zero. Uh, sine of zero is zero. So I get zero over zero. That means I can use L'Hôpital's rule. So I take the derivative of the top. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. The derivative of one is zero. The derivative on the bottom, the derivative of sine is cosine of the inside. But by the chain rule, I need to multiply by two. And now I try the limit again. So if I plug in zero on the top, I get one. On the bottom, if I plug in zero, cosine of zero is one. So the answer is one half.